The first step to produce toothpaste starts with creating a winning formula. Toothpaste formulations consist of a combination of active and inactive ingredients. Active ingredients, such as abrasives, fluoride, and detergent, are the ones responsible for providing the main oral care benefits. Making up between 8 and 20% of standard toothpastes, abrasives polish your teeth to help remove plaque. If your teeth have ever felt fuzzy, that was plaque, the film of bacteria caused by sugars and starches in your food. It is this that the abrasives work to remove. Fluoride prevents cavities and is also thought to help with the formation of dental enamel. In the U.S., toothpastes contain around 1,000 to 1,100 parts per million fluoride, but this tends to be higher in European countries, including in the UK. As for detergents or surfactants, that's the stuff that makes toothpaste foam in your mouth. Not all toothpastes foam, but it's said to help distribute the paste more effectively. The most common detergent in toothpaste is sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, which is also thought to have antimicrobial benefits. Inactive ingredients enhance the product's texture, appearance, and taste. The active and inactive ingredients are sourced and transported to the site, where they are quality tested and placed in enormous silos ready for use. Barcodes are used to keep track of ingredients and toothpaste batches, and every aspect is carefully monitored by staff. The ingredients are then weighed and measured according to the specified proportions. Accuracy is crucial to ensure consistency and efficacy of the final product. The weighed active and inactive ingredients are mixed in a large industrial mixer. This process creates a homogeneous blend of the various components to ensure even distribution throughout the toothpaste. Water is added to the mixture to form a paste-like consistency. The water is typically purified and deionized to prevent any impurities that could affect the toothpaste's stability. The mixture goes through a wet grinding process to further homogenize the ingredients and achieve the desired smooth texture. This step also reduces any particle sizes to ensure a consistent and fine product. Flavoring agents such as mint or fruit flavors are added to enhance the taste of the toothpaste and make them more palatable. Mint is the most common flavor used because it imparts a feeling of freshness. This feeling of freshness is the result of long-term conditioning by the toothpaste industry. The American public associates mint with freshness. There may be a basis for this, in fact. Mint flavors contain oils that volatize in the mouth's warm environment. This volatizing action imparts a cooling sensation in the mouth. Now it's time to add the colors. Although they don't contain any active ingredients, these colors will be responsible for producing the stripes you see on your toothpaste. Research shows that buyers prefer the stripey variety over the plain old white product. To figure out the design and colors of these stripes, toothpaste companies do a lot of research and development to find out what is liked most by the consumers. The chemical composition of the coloring mixture is such that it's perfectly safe for humans to use. Stabilizers and thickeners. Stabilizers and thickeners are included to ensure that the toothpaste maintains its texture and consistency throughout its shelf life. Common stabilizers include cellulose gum or carrageenan. Throughout the manufacturing process, quality control tests are conducted to check for consistency, pH levels, fluoride content, taste, and other specifications. Any deviations from the required standards are corrected to maintain the product's quality. Once the toothpaste passes all quality checks, it is transferred to tubes through an automated filling process. Toothpaste tubes are checked and cleaned undergoing a stringent blowing and vacuuming process to remove all dust and other particles. Then, the tops are sealed, leaving the bottom of the tube ready for filling. Paste and tube unite via a specialist filling machine. This machine rotates the tubes in place before it pumps the paste into each individual tube from above as they pass on a conveyor belt. After filling, the toothpaste tubes are placed into boxes or cartons ready for shipment and distribution to retail stores.